friends and welcome back to my youtube channel today i thought it'd be fun to kind of do like a vlog ish style showing you guys what i've worked on um this month with nitpicks as well as the yarn and tools supplies amazingness that i have received in the mail so first off you can find me at um julianne knitter on ravelry as well as instagram and i just want to say humongous thank you to my friends over at nitpicks who i absolutely adore um who sent these things my way. So absolutely adore nitpicks. They are an incredible brand. If you've never shopped, um, click my affiliate link down below, browse their amazing site. They have everything that you need from yarn and tools, notions, bags, anything you can imagine nitpicks really does have. So first up, I wanted to mention that they do have a sale going on their Aloft at the moment. So their Aloft is their mohair, base which is a lace weight and is so so much fun to work with i recently finished um earlier this year i finished a beautiful cardigan having some stroll dove and then i had a loft in carbon and you can see it knit up so beautifully and i know that i had questions when i was knitting this up you know is the mohair scratchy you know, is it uncomfortable? Is it hard to work with? Um, personally, the mohair is incredibly soft, no, not scratchy whatsoever. I actually, for this pattern, held it single and had no problem knitting it. It was actually my first time knitting mohair single, and I, I was a little scared, um, not sure. I have a project page that I will link below. This is the Vecca Cardigan by Anna Johanna um, that I knit out of nitpicks, but I really, really love this. So definitely hop on their Aloft sale. I really love it. I think that Aloft is also great just to have in your stash if you want to make those um, beanies and hold the mohair, and it's very affordable on top of the sale. I mean, it's just stock up your sweater quantities now um, for the sale. So yes, I will put that, but, and it feels like nothing. Like this feels like air. I just really love it. So all the details on this, how much yardage, everything um, is in my Ravelry project page. Again, I will link this below for you all. Um, as well, what I've worked on in the past month, I released earlier this month my Perfect Worsted Weight hat. I used this out of Nitpicks High Desert Tweed um, in the Birch. And then I used the 50 gram uh, Lava Fields, which is kind of, they're black. Um, and I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, this one is already on the Nitpicks website. Um, I'd have to double check. Oh, let me grab. So just a really fun, basic beanie, perfect worsted weight hat. Um, comes in tons of sizes for everyone. Uh, create the pom-pom and I show you how to have this like perfect, perfect pom-pom that is evenly distributed of the two colors. I used up the entire 50 gram of the birch. Um, and yeah, it was a brand new yarn for Nitpick, so I decided to just knit up a super fun basic beanie. I think that you can never have enough of those basic patterns. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys um, wanna go grab that. And uh, that one is up. The other pattern that I decided to come out with is my Scraptastic sock pattern, which is using up either mini skeins, or if you don't have any mini skeins, you can use up some fun self-striping, which is exactly what I did with Nipix Felici. So I decided to use up one repeat of Nipix Felici in base jump, and then for the rest, I use Nipix Stroll in Dove Heather to kind of create a fun sock. This is great if you only have like one skein of Felici, have no idea what to do, and are scared that you're not able to complete like a full adult pair of socks. You can really have fun with it. So I did the afterthought heel and then I did the toe with a little bit of the Felici and I just thought that it was a super cute touch. So this pattern is available on my Ravelry called Scraptastic. Like I said, you can use up some mini skeins. I also think that'd be great with the mini skein sets from Knit Picks. Um, I was actually knitting up a sample out of their mini skein sets to go along with their stroll tonal. Let me go. 
So I did the top of this one. It is the exact same pattern, but instead of using the Felici, I decided to use the Knit Picks um, mini skein set. So instead of using, I used one, two, three, four of the five colors. Um, I will put the details and my Ravelry project page for this one on which mini skein set I used up. So I used these four. I know that this one is Yeti in their Stroll Hand Painted, Stroll Tonal Frozen, Stroll Tonal Pluto. Not 100% sure on this one. So you use these four colors as well as Knit Pick Stroll Tonal in Pearlescent to kind of complete the sock. The fifth color in this mini skein set was the Stroll Tonal in Pearlescent. And since I had a full skin of this one, I thought why not have fun, use four of the colors with the Stroll Tonal. And I love how it came out. So I need to pick up and do the toe and put in the heel. I really, really love this one. So again, I will have all of this in my Ravelry project page and I think it's fun. I also have the second one of this one. Um, again, have to do the toe and the heel. This is all on my to-do list for this next month. Finish off these beautiful socks. Um, I'm making these for my husband, so that's why there's like a super long leg. But I really love the classic look. And I think it's amazing if you have some Felici left over, if you have some mini skeins left over, mix and match. And I think that pick up some nitpick stroll if you don't already. And you can add it in with your hand dyed mini skeins or doing whatever. But I just, I'm obsessed with how these um, turned out. I really love it. So that is everything that I've been actively working on this month um, for my Knit Picks projects. That's a lie. I have also cast on a dish cloth. Um, Knit Picks came out with some brand new dishy colorways that they sent my way. So this one caught my eye right away. So this is in Inlet. A Knit Picks dishy is 100% cotton, a worsted weight and makes amazing dishcloths. I love it. And of course I'm in the middle of a row, but you can see a little bit how it knits up. I will put also my Ravelry project page for this. I am just using grandma's favorite dishcloth by Vintage. Um, just a plain dishcloth. Really love, love it. And I'm planning on knitting up more of these colors, um, having like really fun matching sets. So I'm going to show off the ones that I grabbed because I'm thinking of making some really, really cute like farmhouse style. I love, love a good farmhouse style. Those pastel-y colors, those neutral colors. That's totally my jam. So I'm knitting this on a US 8 and really, really love this fun dish cloth. Um, I did decide this month to grab some colors of Dishy that Knit Picks has. You can really see I went for those like bright pastel-y colors. I think that they're just classic. Um, this one is called Honeydew and I grabbed two of each. This one I love, Linen. This one has to be so, no, Clarity so much lighter than silver and it's just the perfect gray it, it reminds me of dove of um dove heather yeah and the last one i think this one's mint yeah mint so like i said i grabbed two of each and just creates a beautiful palette um i really love it all of these and if you're browsing on the Knit Picks website, um, they do have a ton of books. And I decided to grab a few kind of to maybe do up some dishcloth patterns. So I grabbed the Kitchen Kaleidoscope Dishcloth Collection. And it has so many beautiful patterns. Um, yeah, just really, really nice. Tons and tons and tons of them. 
So I will be browsing through here um, and seeing if I want to do up one of them. Oh, this one's pretty. All sorts of them. So this one has tons and tons of patterns. I'm wanting to do more things for around the house. I find that um, I barely have anything knitted around the house. And I think like, why, like, why not? Um, the other one that I got was Creature Comfort by Knit Picks. They have in this, like, like this pillow. I'm obsessed. I love that pillow. Um, thinking more pillows and blankets and throws and, um, this one I've been dying to do, um, like rugs, like the zigzag rug. I just think this one, I think it's out of billow. Um, two strands held together. Is it billow or is it, uh, Knit Picks Will of the Andes Bulky. I actually have some of that. Like, look how beautiful that is. Just so, so stunning. So I'm really thinking about doing up some fun, um, yeah, some fun things for around the house. So they have all these books on the Knit Picks website. And the last book that I got was another home collection. So this one is called Tranquility. Woo! And has a little bit more sorry that fell this one has a little bit more of the home collection um i don't know what it is but i'm trying to find it there's a uh, rug i love it is it in this one i thought it oh wow i thought it was um there's just so many beautiful beautiful projects i mean there's endless possibilities Yes, this one, the Moroccan Muse. This one is Bellow. I'm almost, no, Dishy. Wow. I love this. Dishy held double. So pretty. So yes, I'm, I'm wanting to make up a few of um, house items. I think that it's something that I don't have enough of. And I'm trying to figure out as well in my knitting and things like, where am I missing? What are gaps that I'm missing? And thanks for the home. I just think that it's one of those things that when you look around your house, it brings you comfort and joy. And I'm just really excited about that. So the project that I'm really dying to cast on, and I grabbed some of the extra yarn that I needed, I will be making a, I think it's called the Big Ol' Wool Blanket by Pearl Soho. And it is a beautiful faded blanket. And I decided to use, and it's bulky weight held double. So I will be using knit picks billow help double so in case you guys want to copy me um i'm using up the white undyed so this will be my first one after that um i have this one the undyed billow um and then i go into whisker And I think this one's ash, ash. So it's gonna create a beautiful fade. Try now. And then in between of here is going to be the natural. So I just really wanted like a beautiful faded blanket. Bulky weight held double should go by fast. Um, and I just needed a few extra skeins to be able to complete the fade. I also did not have any of this natural colorway. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited. I actually put some of the yarn in a basket and I just want it to be like a blanket in our living room to have our family cuddle in. We watch with the girls, we watch TV every single night and we all cuddle in a big blanket. And I think I just want more of those around our home and more of those that I I can make. So I think boop, I think that that's just special and a special touch. And if I can make that for our family, um, why not? So the next thing that I decided to grab, um, was brand new to Knit Picks and it's these needle clutches. I absolutely adore. So I have this needle clutch that I got about, I would say two, almost two years ago. Um, this one is the, what is it? Is it rose gold? 
not sure the exact name and then they came out with these I can't so this one is the exact same size as that one and it just comes in a different color as well as it kind of has like this little bit of a fabric to it like you can hear like it, it's it's the exact same inside love the gold finish oh my gosh it's just so beautiful here is where you can put all your accessories i put my cords usually here all of your needles so this is for an interchangeable needle set i know i will get questions my two favorites are nickel plated and the prism from knit picks so that's actually i have the um, nickel plated in here to show off how it looks so I always put my interchangeable needles, I have my cords, and then here I'll have like all of the extra stitch markers, that type of, of, of thing. So I think that these clutches are amazing. Um, really love it. You're knitting, like the needles don't go anywhere. Like they don't come out. So when I saw this one, I thought, oh my God. And then they came out with the tiny one for the, inter the short interchangeable needles. Oh my word. I can. So this one goes with any of the short interchangeable needle. I absolutely love the nickel plated one. So later today I'm going to have fun and organize and this is just going to go in there because it's just so perfect. I love it. I've been looking for something like this and nitpicks like read my mind. I think it's so stinking cute so stinking cute so yeah so i got these two i will link it below in case you are curious and want to grab some for yourself but that is all um that i got in the mail this month oh my god you guys i forgot to show you on top of everything that i knitted for knit picks i also finished up a brand new cute design that is going to be in my patreon group we hit an incredible milestone so i wanted to design a sweater pattern for them that won't be released out to the public and this one is going to be in adult sizes and i knit this out of knit pick swish worsted this is the colorway crush um white and i always forget this green and then they wanted a little bit of yellow so i added a little pop of yellow isn't it so stinking cute so yeah i knit this up and i finished it started and finished it for the month of april and um it smells so good i had some wool um some cream on my hands and it just went into the the sweater and it smells amazing so yeah so i finished a bunch of stuff for knit picks this month i sometimes i don't notice everything that i knit until i put it all together and i just love seeing all the type of projects and the different types of projects um but definitely that that blanket is going to be cast on like asap i want to start winding up the skeins um so it's going to be a fade hopefully i will have put a photo here and i think that knit picks billow is a great substitute you could also use um if you're looking for a more affordable uh brava worsted would be an incredible or actually brava bulky i think they have a bulky now i'm second guessing myself um yeah so they have also like um any of the bulky weight would be amazing held double so I think that's everything. I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys and to my friends over at Nitpicks for sponsoring this video. And as always, I hope that you guys have an incredible day and happy knitting. Until next time. Bye, guys.